Hello and welcome to the UBL Garage. Today I'm going to show you the basics of wiring your Fusion Stick light. The Fusion Sticks include a variety of features, all at no additional charge, including two modes, a traffic advisor, and an optional white flood or takedown functions. A white flood is available on any dual color bar. And if you choose white flood, each and every module must have white in it, meaning the modules must be amber white, blue white, or red white in any combination. A takedown module is available in a single color bar and is typically a white steady burning module. It's independent from the rest of the bar and flashes separately and is not included in the traffic advisor function. With the Fusion Sticks and many other Phoenix products, the red wire must be connected to constant 12 volt power. This is great because the red wire carries the entire amp load of the bar, meaning the rest of the wires in the wiring harness, your trigger wires, don't require heavy gauge wire or high amp switches. The first wire is the brown wire from mode one. Connect that to a switch to make the bar flush. The green wire is for mode two. Or if you have takedowns, this will make the takedowns flush. You can set a fast flash pattern for mode one for responding and a slower one for mode two while you're on scene. The blue and gray wires are for your traffic advisor function. One is for left, one is for right, and connecting both together simultaneously will be centered out. My last wire is my yellow wire and that can change the flash pattern. I can change the flash pattern of the flashing mode by doing it while the brown wire is connected for mode one. I can also change the flash pattern of my traffic advisor by doing it when one of my blue or gray wires are connected. This will change the style of the arrow pattern. So that's the basics of wiring your fusion stick. If you have any other questions, feel free to contact us. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.